Hello everyone, Lori here with Beauty Simplified by Lori and I come to you today to talk about self tanning, okay? I have a lot of people ask me, like what's your best self tanner? Like how do you apply self tanner? Um, all of these different questions. So stick around and I'm gonna talk to you about my favorite products and a cool little secret weapon that I have um, to share with you. So if you wanna learn more about self tanning, Hang on, here we go. Okay, so the very first thing that you need to make sure that you're doing is taking care of your skin prior to applying a self tanner, okay? What this means is that no matter how you apply the self tanner, whether it's spray or whether it's foam, or whether you go to a place and have a spray tan, any of those things, you've got to make sure and prep your skin properly so that the tan goes on even and smooth, okay? Now, I've got a really cool little product that was sent to me for me to try, and you know I won't like stand behind anything unless I feel like it is beneficial, okay? Many of you have seen these cool little spinners, okay, for like your face, like it comes with like a small little one for your face that's a little bit finer, but the cool thing about this one, it's called, it's by um, Duvolet, and this is called the Radiance Spin Care System, okay? Now what happens is these pull off, okay? And you've got a couple of different heads. Now this one is really cool because it, this is actually like pumice stone. So you know how you've applied self tanner onto your like, around your ankles and it like builds up and like you have like a big orange spot on your ankles. Well, this my friends can buff that right off. Okay. And it just like snaps right on and then you turn it on and you've got like a rotating pumice stone. I know it's genius. Okay. But then the other thing is, is you want to make sure that the rest of your skin is like um, exfoliated properly before you apply your tanner. And so it comes with this gigantic head. And so like you can like really buff your elbows. A couple of the areas you wanna make sure to take care of is your knees, your ankles, your wrists, your elbows, any of the joints that tend to get like dead skin cells built up or tend to be a little bit dry are going to be your problem areas when you apply self tanner, okay? so. Think about like getting one of these like cool spin care systems and like taking it in the shower. This is meant to go in the shower. The whole thing can get wet. It's run by just a couple of batteries in the bottom. And like, I just buff my body before and then I wanna make sure and moisturize next, okay? Now, there is one product that I absolutely love and it's like a drugstore favorite and it's super easy to use. It is this Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer, okay? Now, I know you've probably seen the Jergens Lotion that you put on, but I don't really love the smell of that one very well. So I tried this one out because I love the wet lotion in the shower. Um, you put it on as soon as you are um, done rinsing off. And I kind of like, so if you put this on after you're dry, it'll be kind of sticky, okay? No way wrote really like sticky, all right? So I take this and put it on right after I rinse off, then I squeegee my shower, and then I pat off really lightly, okay? This stuff is like lotion and tanner in one. So um, if you are just wanting to slowly build up your tan, this one right here, I use the medium tan and I love it, okay? Love it, I use it all year round, no matter what, okay? Another tanner that is my, probably my holy grail, if I really want a good tan, is this one from St. Tropez, okay? Now this one is a foam tanner, and I like that because it's easier to control. Um, the spray ones, I tend to like, just gets all over my bathroom, and I've even done it in the shower, but then I have like tanner all over in my shower from the spray because you can never get it right. And then you have to rub it anyway, okay? But the secret is, is to make sure you have a mitt, okay? 
This is just a microfiber mitt. Um, St. Tropez has a really good one that you can use with it, but get a mitt. I just foam spray right onto my mitt and rub it around, okay? Now, if I really, really want a big time tan, I'll sleep in it, okay? I don't recommend that at first because you don't know how your body is going to like absorb the tan and you don't really want to come out like, I don't know, looking like you just have, like a whole bunch of self tanner. Okay. But this is like a, a green undertone. So I don't get that really orange weird feeling from it. Okay. So I love foam self tanners and St. Tropez. I try and catch it on the 20% off at Ulta whenever I can. Okay, now let's say I need an instant tan and um, I don't want to wait for the express, you know, hour or two hours that it takes with this one. This one by Tomas, this is a spray. So instead of spraying it on everywhere, I will spray it on the mitt and then rub it on. This gives me an instant tan, okay? So that's a really good one for that. Now, a couple of different ones that I've used for my face. Now I love this St. Tropez on my face as well. Okay, so many times if I'm just gonna be doing videos or whatever and I want my, my chest area and my face to be tan, I will use this overnight. But if for a gradual slow tan, this St. Tropez, it's called Purity. It's like a super fine mist and I just spray it on my, my face at night before I go to bed and sometimes I'll spray it in the morning and it slowly builds up the tan, but it does not break me out, okay? Love that. Another one for my face that has an anti-aging serum in it is this one from Kula. And it's an, it's an anti-aging face serum tanner, okay? This one's okay. It's not my absolute first go-to, but it's a, it's a decent one and it has the anti-aging properties in it, all right? Now, you all know how much I love Mascara Beauty. The best way to get like an instant tan and not have to worry about it going orange or anything weird is to put your Bella bronzer, which is a cream bronzer, okay? And then there's the Glow Illuminator. You take your big B squared brush and you like swirl it in the bow, okay? So Bella doesn't have any shine, but Glow Illuminator does. And then you take it and like rub it around. And you guys, it gives you the most beautiful instant glow, okay? So if you're wanting to try something like that you know is your, will fit in your compact already, or maybe you wanted to dip your hands in mascara, Try the Bella Bronzer and the Glow Illuminator, a B squared brush. There you go, okay? The other thing that's really cool is there's actually a bundle that gives you the Bella Bronzer and the B squared brush that'll save you some money. And then just add the Glow Illuminator on top of it. All right, you guys, so those are my tanning tips. Make sure you're keeping your areas that are really dry exfoliated and moisturized before you put on any tanner so that it doesn't like suck into those areas. And then like, have a little fun. Don't be worried. If it gets too bad, break out your little spin care system and buff it back off again. Okay, your skin sloughs off. It's going to be okay. None of these that I've shown you make me orange at all. And I really love that. So hopefully you have found this video helpful. Hopefully you will maybe want to implement a couple of these little tricks, whether it be summer or winter. And um, if you guys could hit that subscribe button for me, I'd really appreciate that. And like the video, leave me a comment if you have any questions about any of the products that I've used. I will link them below. The big thing is, is that this, I've got a super sweet deal for you guys. They've given me a code for 70% off. It makes this little system with the three heads, $28. Mm -hmm. $28, people. Thanks so much. Have a good day.